Here we are with perhaps the greatest female fighter who has ever lived, Lucia Riker, who uh, just told me it just felt like she gave birth to a cow trying to pull her hand out of this, uh, this tub of clay. How uncomfortable was that? Yeah, that was very uncomfortable. The holding it still was hard not to touch the bottom, keep the wrist straight, and then once it's uh, firmed up to open my hand and pull it out, I couldn't get it out. So I pulled, I pulled, and then he held it again, and then I pulled, and then it felt like I was delivering a, a, a baby of a cow or something. It slid out with all the Vaseline. I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> well, they were telling horror stories before about how Ken Buchanan actually had his hand stuck in there and his yeah. fingers turned purple. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, for a moment, it was just stuck. And he said, no, get the oxygen in to open. And then slowly it opened, and then it kind of was really tight, and it pulled out. I, was, I, I won't tell you, I won't tell you about experience. <laughs> So we, uh, we're going to have your fist in the Hall of Fame now. What is it going to take for us to get you on a plaque in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. I guess we, we have to start advocating for it. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. I had to, the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2009 was the first female inducted. So uh, I don't know what it takes. It seems to be interesting. Like I was trainer of the year last year. I, I got an honorary degree coach trainer for I, I, NOSF, I, uh, NOSA, that's a co Olympic committee for kickboxing coach. Um, so now this, it just, you know, I got uh, an award for being the inspirator of 2013. My fighter won a WBC yeah. championship in Melbourne. Hey, bring it on. There we go. What is it going to take, and not just for that, but what does it take for us to bring women's boxing to the forefront in North America? Because there seems to be a, a drastic difference between how it's received in North America and how it's received in Europe. You know, I went to the Olympics in 2012, and there were a couple of people that uh, won bronze, and one lady from India won bronze. She went back home. She was given by her mayor a uh, women's boxing academy, and they wrote a movie about her life. Then Clarissa Shields, who was phenomenal in the Olympics, who has the punching power of Mike Tyson. I came back to the States and I asked everyone, did you, did you, did you, hear, did you hear women's boxing in the Olympics and we won gold? And they're like, oh really? Nobody knew. Front page news in England, front page news in many countries, but not in America. I'm like, I thought we were pro-female athletes. And then who heard of Clarissa Shields? You know, it's, it's, it's such a shame. I don't know what it takes. I, Maybe I should start promoting, you know, and maybe I should start promoting women because it's a whole new league. I mean, I'm going to the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame, the first one in Florida in, Flor in uh, July 11th. So that's the first step. Women from all over the world are coming. So I think it's a matter of time. And I, I'm sure you've heard all of the, the different excuses that, oh, you know, we don't like seeing women fight and whatnot, but that's not, that's not for men to decide in particular. You know, I think... Um, yeah, it's important that we start to accept women as powerful and that women are not po a threat when they're powerful. Um, the women can be powerful and are supposed to be powerful. And if they choose to box, then that's wonderful. And then we should support it. But it goes a little slow in America. I don't know, uh, Germany, uh, Sweden, Norway, all over Europe, they're really excited. Except in America, it stays behind somehow. Now, have you ever had any thoughts of uh, stepping back in the ring again? Or, or are you happy in your role now uh, as a trainer? I'm happy uh, in my role as a trainer. It's phenomenal to pass on my knowledge to other fighters and to see the world of boxing from a different angle. As a, as a coach, I don't just teach them the skills of boxing. I try to teach them, teach them the skills of life. It's easy to be a great champion, but to be a great human being is way harder. So I try to be a mother at the same time. Uh, to step back in the ring. I saw that movie, Becrutched Live. What was it, Becrutched? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and I watched it and I thought, could I do that? I mean, I, the bodies look funny, you know, when people get older, they look yeah. funny, even though they were in shape. And I thought, well, what would I do if they'd ask me? If it would be for a fundraiser of some great cause, I'd probably do it. But if it was just for my own satisfaction, I would never step in the ring. Yeah.